Hey, morning, David. I think we have a full house with Pritish and I representing. Vani is in, uh, has a conflict, so she won't be able to join or join very late. Okay. So we can start if you're not waiting on anybody else. No. Yeah, we can get going. Great. I think Vani uh, put a good agenda up for us. We can walk down that agenda. We covered some of this agenda last week or on Monday. We didn't run yeah. all of it. Yeah, the one that there's one item that he added um, last night, uh, his day, uh, yeah. just to run PR reviews. Um, seems like we're kind of back backed up a little bit. Um, I guess I just wanted to see um, your thoughts on that because uh, he he brings up a point of like. Uh, if we look at the notes, right, there's eight PRs to be reviewed or in review, five issues pending PR creations. It's like if we spend one week reviewing each prior and sequential, it'll be eight plus five weeks, three months. So uh, just trying to see if there's something we can do to speed things up. Um, I don't know. One thing, I mean, one thing that comes to the top of my mind is because we do have the actual uh discussion right around the pr review process um and the the actual uh the two reviewers may be from the same organization if the pr has been open for more than a week that helps um but i think the problem is when we get into uh, like, because there's four. I guess I can post the link to the to share my screen. Yeah, that'd be good. I think the first three are good. I think where we start to slip down is one, either four or five. Oh, it's just feedback. Okay. So we're, I think we're just not getting feedback uh, for a lot of them from other people. And then if a member of so it's like if there's no feedback yeah. I think after a week, it can be merged. Oh, but only if there's a feedback from other organization, then we are blocking the merge. Oh, yeah, yeah. So only if there's feedback. There. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah. where is that documented? This is in the discussion. I mean, this was, this was what we talked about a while back. Um, no, this part again, but where did we say about that one week? Uh, Third point. If that, that's been around for a long time, actually. So this is what I think will help help us quite a bit because I mean we we've been waiting for many, many weeks for like for yeah. instance this stuff. Yeah. I, I think one response I have for the comment is that not all PRs are created equal. I believe the COSI merge uh, is a big change or the refactoring is a big change and we can't, we shouldn't use those data points uh, and extrapolate them for every I, PR. Also, we did, we did a decent progress this week. I think we at least merged four PRs this week. Let's, and where, like, where can you pull that? Yeah. British, where like is it easy to pull that metric of how many PRs we have merged uh, historically? Uh, I know I don't know this is a way to pull the metric, but I know this week I reviewed four PRs and got it merged. So yeah, I got one of my PR merged and I reviewed other three PRs that got merged. And like I left comment on other one, one more PR. So at, at least we reviewed five PRs this week, at least. And some of other PRs had outstanding comments. So I didn't take a like look into that. I was like, if the if one's outstanding comments are fixed, I can take a look. Yeah, it looks like notation go. It's been 
over a week. Um, and we have. No, no, okay. Yeah. So there's this one, which is 14 days ago. It got it got rebased again yesterday over the mainline branch on which we need to review now. And this one is 16 days. Yeah, this one got rebased. Wait. It was it rebased just day before yesterday, two days back? No, this one is different. Two days ago. No. I think this is this got split into multiple PRs and we have reviewed that into other smaller PRs, I think. I'm not sure what's happening here. Yeah, there's a feedback, there are open feedbacks on this PR. And then then recently. So there's one PR which is blocking, which is high priority, which I will take a look today, which is one. I think 131. Yeah, 131 in Go, which I will take a look today for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like this got rebased recently. I think once we merge the cozy chain, this got rebased on that. And we knew that once we merge the cozy chain in the main branch, then, then once we merge the cozy refactoring in the main branch, we'll have to rebase this. Okay. Yeah, so And 146 was too big to review in one go, I think. It was like more than 35 change and we are adding a bunch of stuff there. So it's like one thing we can do is one thing we can curate the list of all the open PRs in order of their priority and keep up updating that in Slack or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah, but, I'm trying to think of yeah, it's what what's yeah, the <laughs> yeah, the thing right now is so open PRs, some are split into other PRs, so it's difficult to keep track of what needs to be and what and in what priority. Right. Right. Um okay, so yeah, I mean that's that's good. I mean that's a practical feedback item, right? And also, I would just say, like, if if there were ones where, uh, you know, I mean, the the cozy stuff is pretty obvious that it's super important where it, you know you want to review it, but other ones, it's you know, it, it's not always clear where, you know, on your side of the house, you want to actually review it or not. Um, so so I guess, we, yeah. We can do it design based on notation priority. What's important for notation right now and what's the priority they should be merged in? Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to march towards, there's a lot of stuff in flight for RC1, right? And all the stuff that's up here, so. Um, I mean, for example, some priority won't take, a, some PRs won't be of priority because no other PRs depend upon them. For example, if there's just a com comment change, then it yeah, might yeah, not yeah. be over other ones. Like if there's a PR which is blocking multi, uh, multi other PRs, then that becomes a yep. priority. No, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so it's that helps with the priority, right? And then maybe there's like a is is blocking other PR type of <laughs> type of thing. Um, would be good to know to help with the priority prioritization. Yeah, because I know right now there's one on my two on my plate. One is one thirty one go, which needs I need to take a look at by end of then there's a cozy uh, yeah, 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 implementation. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, so I this know is kind of the root of the cozy stuff, right? Because then from there it goes to notation go, then goes to the final one, which is no. So we are updating notation go first, and then I will review cozy. That's what we discussed last time. So notation go changes are already out there because right now the notation like notation is broken because of refactoring changes. So now we'll update. I will review the notation go first, and then I will switch to seventy five, which is go implement cozy implementation. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think I think uh, yeah, the the cozy stuff I know is a lot, and I think once we have it in there, it'll help hopefully to kind of flush out any kinks and things, and not have such huge huge PRs uh, moving forward after that. Right? It's like easier to digest smaller changes. Yep. And this one is actually time because it takes time to review long PRs. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, is we can. Yeah. So I think the action item. I think you have a fair point of helping prioritize the ones that are there. Um, and then I would just say, you know, coming back to this more than a week thing, um, you know, us just if, if one if one is, you know, maybe not as as critical for, uh, you know, like cozy one that's not as important as that to just try and have two two different code reviewers on the same side um you know same, same time zone or whatever to help with kind of speed up of i would disagree that cozy is pretty important as a, no, 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 no no i mean cozy is important to have both sides but i'm saying if it's a non-important one like a doc change or a c you yeah, know right. and then testing one or something you know yeah. one that that's not as like critical that we just like for instance this one here it's like okay that was opened yesterday it's like well if um you know if we had you know bin bin and patrick both review it like now then second and you know then it was open a week then we basically could oh, yeah. feedback suggest we could merge it right yeah that sounds good yeah so yeah okay um but in the, the other aside from that it's like one that you know that are blocking whatever i think it's good to to surface the the priorities um in more particular where ones that are more critical that we that we help prioritize for ones that we need on on kind of both sides so if if, if on the aws side you're like hey we you know this is pretty important where microsoft we needs feedback on our side you know like surfacing that and then vice versa so we can both help each other out in the best way not have delays yeah. Good. So who so who does this? Like we yeah, that's the right thing to do, but when do we do this and who does this? So people are getting well, PRs. Yeah, yeah. I think uh I, I think it's a it's a it just depends on when we start to get things backed up, like right right now. Like right now we need it like now. Right. Um, but I think it's like a like a uh I don't know once or twice a week kind of thing when we're back backlogged, you know. Um, I I I think um, yeah I, I don't I don't know. I'm open to I'm open to ideas here, but I, I think at a minimum, like if we had things for the Monday review, like if we had that PR list on let's say before the Monday five o'clock call, then we could <clears throat> you know prioritize potentially reviews in the Monday sync that are kind of holding people up like if there's feedback or there's comments on a pr that way we could try and accelerate things you know so that's what we used to do earlier earlier we used to put the prs as a agenda items although like like we want this prs to be reviewed like this is of priority earlier we used to do that so we can yeah. do the same thing this is like yeah. this is a priority prs we need to get it reviewed in one or two days so yeah at least one pass yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah, using like having a prioritized PR review list, let's say Friday or early morning, Monday. Um, I mean, Friday might even be better um, just so that there's time for, you know, folks to make sure that there's eyeballs on the stuff before you hit Monday, five o'clock. Right. Cause then you're, then you're kind of waiting on, you know, people haven't had, a, didn't know which is priority and there was no time to review it. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think, I mean, I think we can, we can try and push something up today is Thursday, right? So today or tomorrow we can, uh, you know, put that list together and then perhaps use Monday's call to try and um, prioritize reviews. Um, but the alpha four release, I know we're trying to get out right on the 26th. Yeah, I think so that we at least so take one day. That's the other big one. Is there is there anything here holding us up for that or or no? Uh, I think let's do it at the notary project. Let's look at the notary project board. I have to create release notes for it, but David, if you want to take, I, I can just copy and paste my release notes from Alpha Three and just uh, simplify it. Uh, let's well, and are you going to release? Go ahead and release the Alpha Three 
Yeah, I was going to do the both at the same time. I was waiting. So what we call calling alpha three, alpha four. I can just do both at the same time. So okay. I did work to create an alpha four uh, system level release notes. Yeah. But just looking at what's out there, right? Uh, somebody needs to close close number seventy four or the line number seventy four here. We need to test and verify that after the uh, the check in from uh, from uh, Pritish, this is actually working. Okay. Um, uh, Pratish, like, how were you able to test it? Was there a unit test to tell us that after we relax the tool? So I have a unit test and I have hardware the certificate generated by OpenSSL also. So I have both, uh, like, in a unit test, I'm just generating a new self signed certificate also. And I also have a unit test where I have hardware the minimal certificate generated by OpenSSL. Okay. Sorry, I can mute myself here. I don't know why. Well, you get some kind of noise there. So yeah, I mean, so, but someone need to validate that from end to end perspective. So is this, so is it ready to test then? I mean, right now? Does, like, yeah, the, the code change is merged, so it can be tested. Wait, 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 hang on. The code change is merged, but there's no new binary generated. When will the, when, the, when does a weekly build kick in? It kicks in on Monday. So then that doesn't really give us time to test it. I mean, it would test, we could test it Monday, um, <laughs> Monday morning or whatever. I think it kicks off Sunday. If I if I remember right, the dev build, I think it's Sunday. Yeah. So basically Monday morning uh China time would be while we were sleeping. Um I mean, so I mean it's kind of tight if we're gonna release on Alpha 4 Monday, but um it doesn't I don't know. I mean, we we should it, if you're gonna have time to try and fix something, then it'd probably be better to do it now, right? Um, but I guess we'd have to roll our own build. Is the is the change for notation though like for the like I know that's the back end changes right so is the actual notation CLI updated to use the back end libraries or no no that's done as a that should be done as a part of okay setting PR so, at one thirty one that's blocked on me but without one thirty one anyway the build is broken right now okay so. Yeah, so we really need to get this, this, uh, let's see, 131. Let's notation go, notation go 131. Oh, notation go 131, okay. Wait, what's, yeah. why will that block the CLI? Uh, so basically we need to update a dependency on code go, which I haven't done that. Also, if you, right now, if you cut a new release of notation code go, which has updated refactoring and if you cut a new release of notation go, it, it will depend upon new release of notation go, go which will break. Because right now notation go, go and go are not compatible right now. Like the, that's the 131 PR which will uh, which will update everything, like which will make notation go work with go, go. So that's PR 131. Yeah, this is 131. So, okay, so yeah, this is pretty high priority then, because this is blocking alpha four release. Yep. Yeah. Actually, let's go ahead and mark it alpha four. Let's create the new milestone. So we start tracking it. Uh, and I'm gonna, let's just mark it to alpha four. And I'm gonna okay, mark yeah. that other one that we have it open for alpha four as well, so that we show it clearly, which one. Okay. Yeah. I'm changing it to alpha four, just say alpha dash four, create and assign a new milestone. I'm doing, I'm doing the notation go one. Oh, I just created it, sorry. Oh, okay. I, I think it automatically created it. When I just marked it, it automatically created in notation, but you can create one in notation go as well. Right, yeah. So you need to, yeah, that's the thing. We we were just coordinating names. So we're just alpha dash four, you know what we were calling it? Yep, alpha dash four, yep. Okay, all right. So nine. I'm gonna create one in notary project as well. And then I can uh, just tag the tag the uh, this one thirty one to that, so then you can see it on the board. That's it. Um, uh, this is gonna be. Okay. 
Okay. How did you create a milestone? I you so you went to a GitHub screen to create a milestone. I usually just create a new one when I assign it to a PR. How did you create one new one? Uh, I just went to issues and then um, where the milestones are and added a new one there. That's all. Oh, I see. So now we should have. Refresh this, we should have, yeah, alpha four, there we go. Yeah. This is really annoying. Can you hear the noise in the background or no? No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, well, uh, so is there anything else than blocking alpha four or no? Uh, Let's see, one thing which I'm thinking aloud here now uh, is we are still making spec changes in alpha four. Uh, so whenever we cut alpha four, some of these spec will be complete, some will not be complete. So, which is fine, it's an alpha four spec. So I will create a release new version of Notary V2 specification for alpha, well, I never did it for alpha three. So let me just move that. Can you move the first one to alpha four? This one, yeah. Uh, the no, no, not this one. Uh, the one, the, the the one above. We will still do an alpha three system release. This one, one above, yeah. Oh, okay, just oh, I see. Just move the stuff up for yeah. Okay, that's fine. We did not do an uh, release, uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to create a alpha four milestone. It's fine. This is this is the only one of the only things that's kind of well, just a little annoying, but it's. We have so many repos and you have to have the milestone and same for every repo, but it's okay. Let's see. Oh, uh, yep. Now for three. Yeah. Why is, there, why is there one open? That's the one probably open one. Let's see which one must be. The oh, one. yeah, that's the release version. Okay. Let's just reassign it to Alpha yeah. 4. That would be good then. So essentially, we are not releasing any uh, notary project specs in alpha three. It's all coming in alpha four. That's fine. Okay. So I think on this one, Vani and I wanted to uh, learn and I think uh, we were told by Feynman that he can walk us through as we do this release. So she and I can get used to the idea of doing this release. So maybe we just work offline with Feynman and uh, and ye on this one to just follow the steps with them one by one or just do it as part of the Monday meeting as well. Yeah, yeah, this comes back to, oh, I, I realize I need, uh, I, I promised an item to add for release version, automated release versioning, like with the maintainer thing. So I think uh, we were gonna put that on the, Notary project or roadmap repo? I forget. Uh, for the gated, the gated release. Basically. I think we, I think we, we talked about it because this is, this could be a roadmap item. Yeah, roadmap. Yep. Yeah. That's what I thought. Makes the most sense there. Okay, I'll I'll add that in. Um, just I'm not going to do it on the call here, but I'm just going to open this up for now, just to. Not forget about. I'll do it right after. Um, so, uh, what else do we have here? So, Alpha 4, sounds like you just, you're going to create the release notes. We have this one 131 issue that needs to be merged. Is there any other ones uh, that? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's the one we were talking about, the 131. Oh, sorry, my bad, only 131. Yeah, um, and, and what else? And that's it, I think, only 131. And 
Yeah, I think we might have to update notation CLI with the dependency of notation CLI dependency on notation Go. Oh, okay. Be, I think that's yeah. Be, that's yeah. Is, there a, uh, is there any other ones that actually up bump that up that are already open? I don't know. So, no, I don't. I, I think I'm not aware of any other. Uh, hang on. I have, a, I have a request. Uh, can we confirm or that we broaden the RC3 of ORAS Go already as through some other merge, or we have to bring that one in as well? Because RC3 is where the fix from NEMA went in. Yeah, ORAS Go is it RC3. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm in right now. OK. That'd be good. But the, but the thing that we're talking about here is uh, a notary project, right? We're, we're, we're doing notation. Updated. Yeah, we need notation for Go and notation Go updates, right? No, only on notation Go. Not no, notation Go. Yeah, yeah. notation Go. We're using just the 10.0 release, so we would need the update from 131 to be added in here. Um, go, go, but, notation Go only has V2, so we need to update. So here is the one mod five. Yeah, well, because you would need, I mean, you you have changes, other changes you want in there as well. So there's uh, multiple reasons why we need this bumped to, to complete alpha four. So no, do you want to, uh, huh? So there are two changes required. First of all, but first we need to update notation goals dependencies. Right. Yep. On, from ORAS V2 to V3, then we need to update notation. Yep. Yep. So yeah. So I, I feel like I don't know if we want to put um like maybe we should file an issue and then put put uh, before just to like make sure that it gets tracked. So like we could just um I'll just I'll just put it just so we can have it. Uh, let's see. No. Okay. But then um, I don't know who we want to do. We want to have somebody assigned to this. Um, because then that then that should be it, right? You have to merge one thirty one, then, but basically bump the notation go library for that version for the newest version on notation. Right, current notation go, right? Yep. So <clears throat> merge that PR, uh, bump notation go with newest version of ORAS, then bump noti uh, notation with newer version of notation go. So we need to do, we probably need to bump this up too, right? On notation uh, go. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we need to do that. Yeah. So this this will need to be. I can take a now at this one. Uh, I will take a look at this one thirty five. So, yeah. that's a small one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think if you if you approve it, then you're good to we're good to merge it. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like it passes the builds. So, pretty safe one. You want to just approve it, and then we can merge it. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Uh, approved, you can merge it. Okay. Yeah. Um, any other ones that we need for Alpha 4? No. 
Mm. I'm just going to create that uh, system fix. release. I'm working on fix it. Right the search, fix the search validation in the trust store. What is this one? I have, let me check that. It was yeah, hours ago. The root search or immediate search um, is possible. These but self signed. Current employee checks if all certs under the trust directory are CA certs, which misses the case that self signed search. So then this technically is the same thing we were trying to fix, right? This one. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there's two PRs though. That's a little weird. Um, it's got 147 and 148. Oh, it's because it's to dev branch. I think I see. And then there's one domain, I think. Well, I will take a look at this one also, 148, I think, yeah. Well, 147 is to dev branch and then 148 is to main. So I think uh, this one would be the one that you would want to want to review because it would be the one that would permanently, right? Go into main. Yeah, one forty-seven, right? Yeah, you want me to just assign assign you to it? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's not in scope. Yeah, no. Your package isolates read write path. Mm. I don't. I don't think this is critical though. Oh wait, resolves one forty four. I think uh, I would look at this one. It might be critical because if you cannot specify a self signed certificate in uh, Trusto, then sign in but verification won't work. So I will just take a look. It looks a like small PR also. So it should be relatively faster. So do we want to gate this on alpha four or no? Uh, I will review it and uh, take a call on after that because I'm not sure what this, what this is blocking. I'm not able to specify self sign certificate, which we should be. But I will have to understand what's blocking here. Okay. That's the dev branch. Yeah, that's a that's a that's not for alpha four. Uh, Okay, um, just to help with visibility here. Um, this of course is obviously RC1. So this is the list I have in priority order till now. I think 131, 147 are required for uh, alpha four. And after that, it's for Oracle stuff, so yeah. Yeah, so this one and that one. Or this one, or the two that are prior, high priority um, for alpha four, which ideally we really want these merged by, by latest tomorrow. Um, yeah. then that way, that way we have the automated build on Sunday and then we could do all the testing. Um, ideally China team could test mon their Monday morning, find any bugs. And then if, if there are anything that needs to be fixed, hopefully try and turn something around fairly fast so that you can try and hit the release date on Monday. Yeah. And then hopefully everything's good and then we don't have to do fixes, but at least we could test it and, and do the release Monday. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Uh, Samir, anything else? No, I think uh, let's quickly uh, glance through the agenda items. I think we need to create some new uh, issues 
uh, which are not user stories, but they're issues that we need to track for RC1. If you want to start from the bottom of the list, I'll let you read to the bottom of the down, list. Down here? Yeah, start from here and, and go bottoms up and let me know if you have any questions on these. Uh, the revocation spec, okay. I thought we already had an issue on revocation spec though. Uh, not, uh, British. can you confirm if we have an existing issue to update the specs for revocation? We should have, I'm not sure we have an issue or not. I have to check, like, it might be possible we have, we might. Yeah, that we have, I'm sure we have something in the roadmap, people, uh, for that. But I was thinking about in the notary project repo, because as we have discussed, right, uh, David, the roadmap repo items are just placeholders for us to move, but then we need corresponding work in the repo. So I need to know if there's something in the notary project repo for specification work. We don't have anything for, uh, we don't have any notary repo for evocation. Okay. So there's another project for scheme management for sending signatures. Oh, this is sending signatures? Wait, should we see? That's, uh, and then we have another one. Let's see. We actually have two. There's certificate revocation and signature revocation, which I get, yeah, that's two different things in the roadmap. And then we have in the notary project, we have this one, which is, Oh, it's CRL, CR. This is the one we want to, this is basically a certificate revocation. Yeah, so I think this is what you're looking for, right, Samir? Uh, key management, rescinding, not re rescinding signatures. This is for, no, it says rescinding signatures. We should be calling it rescinding certificates, right, uh, Pradesh, or? Uh, I so like uh, she has commented that uh, the sending signature can go into 88. Can you please open 88? Oh, there is a different one. Uh, yeah, we need to open. let's keep one and then we can divide in future. Like, let's work on uh, okay. So okay, so let's just assign the existing one you're saying to uh, RC1. Yep. And then say uh, this one. Yes. Let's assign it to RC1 and say update the spec. And I will, and we can link it to the corresponding roadmap item that we had. Uh, uh, we would just, because um, this is the one, right? That we're. The roadmap people, yep. The certificate revocation, yep. I think we'll link it to the certificate revocation. Yeah, first, yeah. Yeah, let's link to certificate revocation. Do we want to uh, rename that rescinding signatures to yeah, rescinding, signatures, rescinding certificates? Yeah, let's rename that to certificate revocation to like so that we have same name in roadmap and notation repo. Or at least similar name. Good. It's it had the thing. I forget how to get rid of this shining bar thing. Meeting rules. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, so this should. Oh, uh, we need, you know, we have to do it in the format of, uh, we have to do it like this.
Uh, okay, uh, next one on the list. Um, pen test. Okay, the next one was pen test. I think we talked about, uh, Willis is not here today, but he said, uh, I think we believe that RC1 is the candidate. We should get some external pen testing done. I know we've talked about individual pen testing on the libraries, but I think Milid's request was for us to start thinking about pen tests for the entire uh, client, quotation client. Yeah, do, um, do we have somebody in mind for this and do we have any costing estimates of that? I think in the past, uh, I have believe uh, Steve knew about it and Steve had done our work on getting the COSI library uh, pen tested. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, 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 yeah, took, that, took, that took, I would say, a month or more. Um, and, 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 and it cost a lot, a, a quite a bit of money. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, I would not, I, I would not gate on this for RC1. I, I think it's important, maybe right after RC1 is released, but I, I really don't think we should gate on that. That's fine. I think we just wanted to flag it too, so we can start thinking about it. When is the next after this? And you know, if, if we need to think about how to support this, how to. Uh, if you know, I'm going to recommend RC1 for production use case. If yes, then we should think about pen test. I, because our security product. And I and think like depending. I think depending on it. Um, well, I mean, what do we what do we have in our language? Is like, a, do we like do we need to go to that right now? Maybe for what we what's can. The price? We can. I think if you if you go to our uh, definition of what our RC one is, I think we have defined our release definition and RC one. No breaking changes after RC one, and people can okay, use well, it. Yeah. So uh, release breaking changes is one thing. Yeah, I think the if you look at this is the first release of the you release, this will be the finalized signature format. And it feels a little weird that RC1 is GA. The GA. That that doesn't correlate to me. Well, well, we meant people can start taking dependencies on RC1. That's the okay, right. So right. So taking dependencies on it's one thing. Being a production ready battle tested service is a GA thing and not an RC1 thing, in my opinion. Uh, maybe at that time I wasn't super super clear on the on the on the names they use, but this to me was the goal, the end goal. This is the first release that people can use it, and uh, uh, so we need. So we, if you need to go and clean up the language, we can. But the idea was RC1. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. I mean, I, I and I think that would also help in terms of the this the test stuff. Um, you know, I, I think we could evaluate, uh, you know, RC two or whatever on on where's the quality bar and the stability and other things. But I, I would not be like RC one equals GA. Okay, so we have. I think, that's, I, think that's, I think that's way too high of an expectation for jumping from alpha three four to RC one slash equals GA, but taking a dependency on it, yes, I, I think that is the intention of a, of a release candidate is that you know you're not going to be totally blowing everything up on people and you know it's something they can try and rely on and whatnot. The problem with that is we have making a production release, then it should get tested. That's like the only thing I'm worried about is being a security product. If we go, if we don't go with pen testing, if someone finds some vulnerability, then it's not good. Yeah. For the well, right. So you, so we just put, we just basically put in, um, you know, at RC one release what we've done, and people kind of. Take, take it as is, you know, like here's here's the security process we've done at RC1 level. We obviously have a lot on the COSI spec that we have done all that. Um, I, I don't I, I don't plan personally to, I don't I don't think we, since we've done all of this work already on the COSI side, I, I don't have a, a really vested interest on the J, JWS side of the house. That's fine. I think uh, let's take, uh... Yeah, if we can divide and conquer on this, that will be the other approach. Cozy is done. To, let's say JWS gets done. Then what is remaining to get done? Just the 
just the uh, wrapper libraries around it. And so, yeah, I think let's, we can do a divide and conquer. Let's just, uh, we will talk internally as well, but uh, if you, when Steve comes back, have a discussion and all on when is the right time to prioritize it, we think it's RC1. So let's leave it at that and we'll come back. It's, we require more people uh, on this discussion. Yeah. Okay, let's move up. What was the next one? All right, model. Uh, I think this is related to the pen test, so we'll park it for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, the one above was for the, oh, Ian is here. I think he was part of this discussion about EKU requirement. I think this is still pending uh, to relax. Yeah, so Ian, I, I just, I think him, I'm just trying to get past the DCO check, but I mean, this is like, this is like a very uh, minor change here, but I think it's a really important one. Um, it's, it's a signing certificate and it may contain the code signing. Um, yep. because, yeah, I mean, and he's, Ian is, uh, yeah, he, he knows the stuff and there's, there's a lot of valid reasons for this. Um, but, but signing has, has a, a very specific type of meaning. Um, and, I, and I thought we agreed upon this when we talked, it was like a, two months back or whatever, whatever it was. What is this thing? Yeah, that it's, yeah we it's, did. Yeah. yeah. We did agree on this, yeah. And, so, and, I, so I think we just need, to, I think we just need to write, uh, we just need to fix the, the, the DCO and then I, I think somebody should be able to merge it, right? Yeah, David. I, Let's uh, let's try if we have time today. If I can work with you to overcome that DCO, because cool. there's something there's something not right. I've done everything that the instructions I have out there, and it's just not working. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm happy to jump on jump on in with you. I didn't know you were on the call, so <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I so normally at this time I always have the the CA browser forum uh, working group meeting for. Okay. But uh, they ended early, so I jumped over. <laughs> I'll try to oh, do this. Okay. Well, coincidentally, you, you timed it right then. It was, it was meant to be. <laughs> so, Overall, though, but, on EKU, I, I love moving to May is great. Uh, yeah. now, long term, I've been speaking with a few folks who are in the IETF as well. And there's a general purpose document signing EKU that's that's coming out here by February of, of next year. Okay. That probably isn't the right thing, but in discussion with those authors, they agree that uh, we should work on a, a RFC or a, a tag on to skit in some way or an existing uh, work group to create a specific supply chain data signing EKU that then yeah. we can get uh, an INA. Uh, yeah. EKU. Yeah. Well, well, so still that, I mean, to that point, now you're talking uh, uh, doc signing, we've got a code signing. Let's say we just even theoretically had a secure supply chain EK, like EKU yeah. that still fits back into the May. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> right, and and so like it it like we want notation to be be used for all all three of those use cases because those are all valid use cases, right? Yep, yep, that's right. So right, okay. right, right now, this is the right thing to do in the immediate term. In yeah. the next, I'd say a couple months or a few months down the road, here we're going to be let we need to add some more EKUs to the May. Yep. <laughs> yeah no yeah it makes sense it's yep. good. okay sounds sounds good okay okay cool uh i think we can keep going uh jacozy and jws which formats the default for signing that is a, <laughs> that i mean i'll let you comment on that one because i i have my obviously we have our own preference on that one but uh but yeah yeah i think we just need engineering to help us figure out how to whether it's a uh, flag people pass, it's a default setting, which is done as part of configuration one time. Is it done as part of plugin? Yeah. I think there's just some thought which has to needs to happen. I, I had some issue thought on it. For example, if we are using plugin, we want plugin to dictate the format. But if, uh, if customers are not using plugin, then yeah, we need some other mechanism to 
to enforce the default format. But if, if there's a plugin, then plugin should be able to dicta dictate the format. That was my initial thought on that, yeah. What do, you, what do you think about plugin should be able to, to over, overwrite, not overwrite, but overrule default? Yep, that's what my thought is. Like, yeah, yeah. If you say yeah. specify a plugin and plugin has a preference, then notation should use the formats mentioned by the plugin. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that would make sense, yeah. I think, uh, I, I think the other the other factor would just be uh, another angle would be just a, an option for people to set the default mode of operation, right? Yeah. So that you don't have to pass dash dash whatever JWS or dash dash cozy blah every single time, right? Like that's fine that it's that's an option in the CLI if you want to one off specify, but likely most people are going to want to pick a mode and stick with it. Yep. So I think between those two things, then I think we, we should be okay. Um, it's just, yeah. So we, do we do we need an issue filed on this? It sounds like we do. Yeah, yeah. we got an issue. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I think we can. In the interest of time, we've got seven minutes left. To it. That's that's an action item. Um, I can I can file something there as well. Yep. Uh, notation default signature format. I think uh, we just talked through this one, right? Uh, this is this like this. Those two are the same item. We just. Oh, okay. You just kind of have it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Love. Okay. Uh, yeah. Logging framework and. Right. Yeah. So this is. I think there's an issue for it. We want to bring it in RC one. This is that we should have. Uh, actually, no. In ORS. Oh, I didn't think about that. We've only talked about the logging framework for notation client, whereby somebody can turn on dash D debug and whatever the command is doing, it can spew it out. But what about passing it to ORS? This is the one for notation CLI. Um, yeah, so can you, could you like ch um, maybe change this to uh, a better kind of uh, scope? Because this, this, the way it reads is, uh, Kind of an uber like we do everything um but we we agreed to at least for rc1 just the scope for sign and verify um, yeah yeah i can do that yeah um and if you want to do the roadmap as a bigger user story no. for the thing then that's fine but I, yeah okay but i think the that particular item is specific to what do we need to do in ORS, and i guess and I don't go to the ORS meeting, so hopefully whoever is going, if they can have a discussion there and figure out what does the ORS libraries have to support for a logging as well. Okay, yeah, I don't know the context around this one, um, but I, I guess that if it's something we want for RC1, we just need to make sure we have it tracked in an issue in, you know in, in, the, in notary somewhere. Um, yeah, the, all the other items above it are user stories, which we are tracking awesome. anyways, and we just need to close them. Yeah. Okay. I think we are done for today on this one. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm happy to give five minutes back and I can file the issues and or work with Ian to get the thing fixed. So. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.